Hi guys and welcome to my first ever tutorial. In this tutorial we will cover all the basics of HTML including the basic structure of a HTML document and all the basic HTML tags. By the end of this tutorial you should have a comfortable understanding of how HTML works and you should be a lot more confident using basic HTML. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. So first of all, you're going to want to open up Notepad. In future tutorials, we'll be using Adobe Dreamweaver, but for this tutorial, we'll be using Notepad for beginner purposes. So with HTML, you've basically got tags, and these are the tags. So when creating a new HTML document, it's always good to start off with doc type HTML, and this basically means that the document type is going to be HTML. Then we're going to um, enter the HTML tag, which is required at the start of any um, web page that you're about to create. Then we're going to um, add the head tag. Then we're going to close off the head tag. It's always important to close off um, any tag that you open in 90% of all cases. Then we're going to create the body tag. Also close the body tag off and then finally close the HTML tag off at the end of the document. So that's the bare bones of a HTML document now completed. Now we're going to go into the head tag between the open and close head tags and we're going to create the title tag. So we're going to open the title tag, then we're going to close the title tag using the forward slash to close it. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to go in between these um, title tags and in here you can type in anything you wish. This will be the title of your web page. Okay, um, so welcome to my first website is what I'm going to name my web page, but you can name it whatever you want. Um, then we're going to go to file save and because we're saving this for the first time we'll need to select where we want to save um, our HTML file I'm going to save it to the desktop and then you can name it whatever you want as long as it's .html I'm going to call it index.html you can call it home.html whatever you want but I'd recommend calling it index.html when you're done click save okay and then go to the desktop where your file should be saved or wherever you saved it double click on the file and it should open in your preferred browser whatever that may be and as you can see there's no content at the minute but where we entered the title you can now see it appear on the tab and that's where the title tag appears on the web page in the tab that's the title of the web page so we're going to go back to the code now in notepad and what we're going to do is um, basically we're going to go into the body tags now leave a couple of lines inside the body tag um, and then basically we're going to enter some text this is like you know some sample text just to show you that um, it's working that you can add text to the site whenever you add any content it always has to appear between these body tags okay any content on the site file save um, and then go back to the browser and refresh the browser and you'll now see that the text has now appeared um, as you can see so that that's basically how you add content to the website it goes within the body tags and as you can see here it will appear on the site and you can type in whatever you want okay this is now the start of the construction of the website itself the main content of the website so let's add some more text in here is some more text just to show you um, that basically um, you can add as much text as you want and it will appear um, providing it's within the body tag so file save just added some more sample text there again you can type in whatever you want go back to the browser press refresh and you can see that the text has appeared but it's all appeared on one line so what if you wanted them on different lines okay let's say you wanted you know them on those um, sections of text that you've just typed to appear on different lines so what we can do now is add a line break now this is a HTML element and it's the BR tag so BR space forward slash and then close it off and that's basically it you put that in wherever you want a line break to occur uh, to occur sorry or you want any line spacing um, and you can add as many of these as you want in a row and they will basically add more and more line spacing um, wherever you wherever you want so file save I've put a BR tag a line break in between each of these four sections of text and as you can see when I refresh in the browser um, each section of text has now appeared on a new line 
just like it appears in the code, which is just how I want it. So that's how you can add, implement line breaks um, to your website to add line breaks basically and add spacing between text. So it's not all just on one line. So we'll delete that now in the code and now we're going to enter a paragraph tag. Now a paragraph tag basically allows you to um, create a paragraph, obviously. So this is my first paragraph. That's just sample text. You can put whatever you want in here, remember. It's entirely up to you. And we'll go to File, Save. And when we then refresh in the browser, you will see that, um, so refresh, you'll see that paragraph has been created. It's very similar to just typing text in, except you can do more styling when we when we move on to CSS in f in future tutorials. You'll see how to style paragraphs and things like that, and it's just much more professional and much more useful. So now we're going to add a heading, and to do this, we we'll go back to the code and type in H1. This is basically a H1 tag. Remember to close it off as well, as always. Type in whatever you want in here, and this is going to be your heading. Now H1 basically stands for heading one. Um, so file save. Go back to the browser, um, and again, press refresh, and you'll see a heading has been created, just above the paragraph. And you'll notice the heading, it's, quite, it's much bigger than a paragraph, it's in bold, um, basically. Now, if we go back to the code, there are different types of headings that you can implement. So we've got a H1 there, which is the biggest heading that you can create. Now we're going to create a H2 tag. Again, you can put whatever you want in here, and this is a smaller heading. Okay. Now, headings can go down from H1, H2, H3, H4, and H5. So we're going to create a H5 tag now, and this is the smallest heading that's possible to create in HTML, using HTML tags. And basically, it's exactly the same as H1, except just much smaller in size as we will see. So file, save, and when we go back to the browser and press refresh, you should see that the H2 and H5 tags have now been created. And you'll see they're very similar to H1, except obviously different text, but also the fact that um, there's a huge difference in size, especially between H5 and H1, which can come in for different purposes depending on what you want to... Um, well, depending on the purpose, really. You can select basically what size heading you want. So we're going to delete all this now. Um, we don't need that anymore. That was just to show you headings and paragraphs, tags. So let's type in some more sample text. So this is some basic text, dot dot dot. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a center tag and we'll show you what that is. Now a center tag basically aligns anything within it in the center of the page. So just literally type in center Remember to close it off at the end, and anything, any text, any content at all, it could be images, it could be anything, within this center tags um, will be centered in the page. So file, save, and we should now see that when we press refresh, this sample text that we've created, which again can be anything you want, it can be an image, it can be anything, has now been centered in the middle of the page. Okay, You'll see that most websites... Um, have the content central aligned in the page, centrally aligned. So it's a really, really um, useful tag to learn and to know how to use. So what we're going to do now to this text, because it looks a bit boring, we're going to add a font tag. So it's just font, space, face. So font, face equals double quote, double, double quote. And within the double quote, we're going to type in Arial. Arial's a good font to choose. It um, looks really nice and professional, and it's what I use a lot. Remember to close the font tag off um, at the end of the text that you want to be affected by the font tag. And then, as you can see, and then we'll go to File, Save, and in the browser, when we press Refresh, you should notice that the font of, this te of our sample text has now changed to Arial. And this is much more professional text, it looks much nicer, much more appealing, and it's a very, very useful tag, is the font tag, to be able um, to implement within your website, within your code, to add some styling. So now we're going to add some more styling, and we're going to add the size. We want to change the size of this font, and we're going to give it a value of 5. Now, the default font size for any text that you just display on a web page, I believe, is size 3. So size 5, yep, yeah, 
should make it bigger, which it has done. Um, and this is now size 5 text. So now, as you can see, it's been made much bigger. Okay, it's been increased in size significantly, and this is always, you know, this is this is very useful for styling, um, obviously, for styling your text. So now back in the code, um, we're going to move the font tag and everything within that, the text, onto a new line, and then the final center tag, the closing center tag, onto a new line after that as well, so that you can clearly see that the center tags have been wrapped around the content within it. Then. Um, then we're going to add a paragraph just underneath the text that we've already created and you can type in anything you want within this paragraph tag then we're going to create another paragraph just underneath that um, and again you can type in anything you want here it doesn't matter this is just your paragraph remember to close off the paragraph tag um, and then file save and when we refresh in our browser we should notice now that both paragraph tags and the text that we'd already created are now all centrally aligned in the center of the page um, as you can see and that's how you use the center tag effectively um, within your within your website um, so anything within the center tags obviously um, all the content within them will always be displayed in the center of the page so that's it for this tutorial guys I hope that helped you um, with the basics of HTML and I hope you've learned a lot from this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up or if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe if you haven't already to be notified when I upload new tutorials in the future. And thanks for watching. Bye guys.